passed over again. Yet again, you didn't get a raise. Yet again, you are passed over for a promotion. You don't understand why. Everybody's career seems to be moving but yours. Your friends are now becoming supervisors, becoming VPs, while your career is moving like a turtle. Stagnant. Worse than stagnant. Embarrassing. Why is it happening? You're a hard worker. You come in early and stay late. You cheerfully accept extra assignments. You're the go-to person when someone needs an extra hand. You're there to help and people seem to like you. You get along well with your co-workers and your boss, and your clients have nothing but praise for you. Why are you stalled professionally? Why does this keep happening? What is it? Everyone seems to be moving on but you. Why? Don't look for an outward reason why. Your female boss isn't so jealous of you that she's intentionally holding you back. And just because you've ignored your male boss's constant lame flirtations doesn't mean he's out to punish you professionally. Have you considered it might be your writing? Two out of every five business people actively working are poor writers. Poorly written emails, documents riddled with grammar mistakes, proposals that ramble on and never seem to make the point clearly and succinctly, clients complaining behind your back, co-workers talking about you at the water cooler, and poor writing takes its toll. Could your poor writing skills be the culprit for your lack of career mobility and financial rewards at work? Has poor writing made you a corporate turtle? Has poor writing made you a corporate turtle? There's an old cliche about never getting a second chance to make a good first impression. This is true even when the first impression is made via the written word. When an email, a letter, a text message, or a social media post is well written, well organized and grammatically correct, the reader forms a good opinion of the writer. On the other hand, misspellings, poorly organized thoughts, and grammatical errors make the writer appear unintelligent and unprofessional. At the application or an interview stage, this could cost the candidate a job or result in a salary offer that is lower than what it might have been otherwise. In a business context, bad writing in external communications reflects poorly on the company. Co-workers take notice of poor writing skills. It affects how they perceive the writer's competence. The reader forms a poor opinion of the writer. It's all too easy to miss or ignore poorly written communications internally. It may seem the least of your priorities as a business. These often subtle problems can persist though and exacerbate confusion, create doubt and bad feelings within a company. This can lead to the degradation of morale, project delays, and the burning of important bridges between members of the staff or clients. It can result in a loss of business, and that's when you've got a real problem. This is a tough one. Personal embarrassment is nothing worse than having your writing be a source of personal embarrassment among your colleagues, among a client, or in a new business presentation that you've sent out and now in review, someone else sees how poorly written the document was. Don't worry, it's going to get around the office. This is the kind of situation that makes you go hide in the bathroom or 
duck out of the office early. Close your office door if you're lucky enough to have one or pretend to be so engrossed in some task that you dare not raise your head up. So what are some of the costs of poor written business skills? You can be stuck professionally, not getting promoted, not getting a raise, not getting jobs that you know you're qualified for, but in the back of your mind, know you may have a deficiency and suspect it might be because of writing. You can lose credibility. Oh, you can talk a good game, but let someone put a pen and a piece of paper in front of you. You just don't write well and you lose the respect of colleagues and clients. And when it hits your bottom line and you're losing revenue, your poor writing skills are affecting the business and superiors will not look upon that kindly. You might be demoted or certainly won't be given a major writing assignment to spearhead anytime soon. Why are Americans such poor writers? Let's look at some of the reasons why. Don't let writing beach you professionally. So if you're going to be a turtle at work, make sure it's this kind, kicking butt and taking names in a business environment with strong writing skills. Yeah! Brought to you by Writing for Business Lesson Series. Combining business writing proficiency and modern business know-how to develop the consummate business professional. Workshop's registration is included in the description below.